ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you to the Chumash Casino Resort here in Santa Ynez, California, for the featured bout of the evening, brought to you by Gary Shaw Productions in association with the Santa Ynez Band of Chumash Indians and Showtime. This bout coming away is sanctioned by the NABO. Supervisor is Mark Reels in attendance, along with the California State Athletic Commission. Judging at ringside for our main event, Gwen Adair, Jerry Cantu, and David Denkin. Our referee in charge of the bout, he'll be giving instructions after the introductions, Dr. James Jenkin. All right, fans, here we go with the Showbox main event of the evening. 12 rounds of boxing for the vacant NABO Junior Welterweight Championship. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from the Chumash Casino Resort in Santa Inez, California, it's showtime! Introducing to you first on my right, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white trunks with blue and red trim. He weighed in at 139 and one half pounds. His record stands at 12 wins, two losses and two draws, with seven wins coming by way of knockout, fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, by way of Guayanilla, Puerto Rico. Introducing Jesse El Rayo. Feliciano! And his opponent across the ring on my left, fighting out of the red corner, this 12-round vacant title bout, wearing white trunks with blue trim. He weighed in the same as his opponent, 139 and one half pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign to the ring with 10 wins, no losses, two draws with four wins coming by way of knockout. He is fighting out of Atlantic City, New Jersey by way of Athens, Greece, introducing mighty Mike Arnautis. Once again, Dr. James Jankin is our referee in charge. Now to give instructions, 12 rounds of boxing scheduled. Yo, boxer, boxer, mouthpiece, mouthpiece. Gentlemen, obey my commands. Let's go. In Santa Ynez, California, mighty Mike Arnautis. It's again the southpaw against the orthodox fighter. And Jesse Feliciano in the white with red piping, basically all white, is coming forward. Arnautis flicking the jab. Feliciano probing with his, and that's the kind of jab he does have. He seems to just spot it, Steve, from yeah, what we've seen. Exactly. He's not a jabber. He wants to get close. He wants to square up, and he wants to make it uncomfortable for you. Arne Udis's quickness, movement, it just his, his speed makes it uncomfortable for anybody who fights him. Feliciano almost walking in a little squared up and a little stiff, Steve. Maybe it's just his style. It is. He never looks pretty. <laughs> Arne Udis far busier. It's Feliciano with a very quick right hand trying to work off that jab and trying to solve the timing and rhythm or at least feel out what Arne Udis has. Arne Udis, you know about his quickness there as he pokes that jab. Trying to knock Feliciano off stride, frustrate him with that movement. Nail him before he gets set. Nice left hand. First the left to the body, followed by the left cross Five, upstairs. Six, seven, eight. We don't see that often, even for an orthodox fighter. A lead right, and a right to the body. Wow. Luciano in trouble, perhaps. It's had some of the fight taken out of him, clearly. And digging a left Stop. hook to the body, and Feliciano Whoa. is down. Upset that he was hit Whoa. on the way down. Five, six, seven. He's in serious trouble, eight. Steve. He is, and, and, and Feliciano has a point. That was an illegal punch. It was. Arno just landed. Feliciano's also cut above the right eye, Nick. And he looks like he could be done. It's the first round. Feliciano backing up. He's had... The fight taken out of him, but not holding on, Steve. What should he do? He's in La La Land right now. He just never got warmed up in this fight. And, and those two knockdowns happened. 
about five seconds before I was going to tell you, Nick, Arno Luz is not much of a puncher, and Feliciano has a great chin, so I said it anyway. Arne Udis really trying to go for the home run clouds that's here, that's and why not? Nothing coming back from Jesse Feliciano. Trying to cover up with those elbows, ward off more shots. He's bleeding on the, by the right eye. Arne Udis measuring him, not getting ahead of himself. 20 seconds to go in this first. Booming left hand from Arne Udis. Feliciano in trouble again, and he's ready to go. Down for the third time. Oh! No three knockdown rule, and the referee has seen enough. That left hook pulverized Jesse Feliciano. He's on Dream Street, as you mentioned. He's out of it. Look at the blood seeping from his right eye. Here comes the doctor. And let's look in at a finished Jesse Feliciano. And look at Mike Anaiotis. He isn't a knockdown puncher. Four KOs in his fights, and he made it look like Joe Frazier in his prime. <laughs> and you know what? Arno Udis showed us so much when he fought Arango. Tonight, we saw something he didn't show us against Arango, which is crushing knockout power. And not just that, but against a big guy who's been a junior welterweight, who's taken punches from fighters who hit much harder, or we thought would hit much harder than Arno Udis. So, boy. First impressions weren't wrong about uh, Arno Udis. He looked better this time than he did the first time. So it's over within yeah, a round at 249 to be exact of the first as Mike Arne Udis drops Jesse Feliciano three ben, times in the Mill. first heat. As the Greek warrior motors on with certainly the most impressive performance I've seen from him, although the Arango fight on Showbox just this past August showed me something that this guy could deal with adversity, but he had it all his way tonight, Steve, and Jesse Feliciano never got it going. Well, we talked before about the fact that Feliciano was going to have to take punches. I think I used the term swallow punches while applying pressure. He did. He just couldn't take them. I mean, that was no surprise. Show time, my time. I know who this boy. You know, they're talking about another six fights before he fights a contender. They may want to reconsider that. I understand he's only had, what, now uh, 13 fights, but... He's, they've got plans for, what, about three more fights this year? Going to take their time, maybe three this year. They want to take their time on him, as you said, but Arne Udis stepping it up very nicely here, winning with a spectacular three-knockdown performance inside a round. Jimmy Lennon Jr. will make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time. Two minutes, 49 seconds in round number one. Our referee in charge, Dr. James Jenkins, stops the contest. The winner by way of knockout. He is the new NABO Junior Welterweight Champion, Mighty Mike Arnautu. Yeah!